Uguta land has several unique cultural practices that make this place an interesting tourist destination. One of such practices is Itibom. Itibom is a part of the traditional rite during Ikwaozu, that is, traditional burial in Uguta, Imo State, Nigeria. It is done by only women from the family of the deceased. Each adult woman goes round the 27 villages in Uguta early in the morning with a big metal gong informing members of their age grid of the Ikwozu event that would take place in the evening of that same day. Ikwozu means burial, but this is a traditional rite which is different from Christian burial. Rural news tourism took us to Umenemanya ancient village in Uguta, Imo State, Nigeria, to witness the Itibom traditional rite during the burial of one of the most prominent women in the town, Oguefi Jane Francis Onyema Ndupu. Mrs. Chinwe Ndupu is a career woman that works in Lagos. She is also from Uguta. She returned to the village with her family for the burial of her mother-in-law, Obuefi Jane Francis Onyema Ndupu. Of course, she returned with her family. Her husband, Brinsley Ndupu, a prominent man in the town. Her children, Onye, Kene and Tobe. But Chingwe also holds the culture of her village in high regards. Once it was time for Itibom, she dropped her career image and prepared for the traditional rite in the most cultural way. Chingwe grabbed a giant sized metal gong and began to move around the villages in Uguta to inform her age grade members of the equal zoo ceremony that will take place in the evening. Of course, the essence of the movement is to seek their presence at the event. At some point, she was joined by Mrs. Ogechi Mecha, who is the first grandchild of late Obuefi Ezine Ndupu. They moved from corner to corner, house to house, age grade member to age grade member. And of course, they sang as they moved with some other women supporting them as part of the culture. I don't know 
At some point, it became emotional. Ogechi was very fond of her grandmother. So, she couldn't hold back her tears when they got to the woman's family house in Omosuma, Okichi, Uguta. The movement continued, though tasking, but very exciting. After the Iti boom in the morning came the Ikozu in the evening. The excitement was visible as Chinwe danced with her parents, her husband Chinazo Ndupu, and other members of Utu Adimure age grade to which she belonged with her husband. <laughs> 